What well, great morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Um, I pulled cards and uh, DeSantis, the Satan, was over there trying to rag on uh, Illinois. And so the uh, governor of Illinois came out and really gave it to the Satan. So I pulled the cards and let's see what we have. The four corners, I asked about uh, the governor of Illinois' policies, et cetera, how is he as a governor? And I got what he does is he anchors in the community moving forward to more light, okay, at the center of it, we have the one for being protective. So he's protective of his community and his state, wanting to bring in better things for them. So what we have the center of the reading is the abundance of protection, and that's his message. And indeed, that's what he put out to the Satan. Uh, going into it, uh, we have the promises. This is the center of wanting to move things forward, taking and birthing something new. That's his promise. When it comes to the path forward for his young adults, for his people. So above it, we have anchoring in, and he gave some fireworks. <laughs> when it came to uh, funding and the um, abundance of things that because he's got a very they've got a very very good education system there unlike Florida so he talked about the young people of the community what what uh, Illinois is giving and the foundation is shedding light and in this case this one in my deck can either be ring or I think it's the wheel in this one, because he really gave it to him, gave it to uh, the Satan with the message about the, uh, sometimes this is the unknown things or the things of the mysteries and going forward, okay? The, the deeper things, okay? So he came out and said, look, we do a lot for our communities. We care about our families, we care about our communities, and we're doing what we can to aid them. So the past, we have what happened with this. We're anchored in our promises to go forward in even better light, okay? So now, he came out to the Satan with fireworks, saying we are always on the birthing something new moving forward. And this was the heavy, um, you could say that they're uh, the, the contracts, but also this was the wheel. And in this case, this wheel came out to crush the Satan. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of like, I think that card can be used as either contracts or the wheel of fortune, if you will, karma or the grinding wheel. This was more like the grinding wheel. He just crushed the Satan with this. And then we had, of course, we already saw this, the middle of what the reading is about, the um, ongoing things. Uh, Again, protecting, abundantly protecting. The challenge 
is yes. The young people and putting a good path forward for them, okay? And that's what he's looking for, the mysteries of it. What do we do? How's the best way to um, handle this? And the clarification is about the community, again, caring about their families, their young people, and moving things forward. So I'm not going to hold up the cards for the next point, but let's look and see what we have. Okay. So if we look at it now going the crossways and other things, we have at the center again, he's protecting through fireworks and was telling the, the hidden things not so easily known. And um, it was the Wheel of Karma when he came out talking about education and stuff, which uh, the Satan had no right to talk about, about continuing to try to move things forward to a better path all the time for people. Um, he's talking about, again, wanting to move things forward, birth something new. These are his promises of protecting the community as much as he can, putting light on the abundance of what they do have in Illinois and anchoring in this message that we're going to continue to go forward and give the best I can do, uh, abundantly looking at the path and continuing to move forward, giving good messages about the community um, and wanting to protect the families, protect uh, the young adults, uh, again, and looking for the best methodology to do so. So that's what I got from the reading um, with my new cards uh, about this uh, governor. The Satan uh, should have kept his mouth shut because this guy was not having it, and he came out and put out the truth of the situation. Florida's education system is miserable, okay? And Chicago, I guess they've got the sixth best in the country for the young adults. Okay. <laughs> and he actually cares about family, and he's doing what he can to improve the family. And so the Satan was saying about crime rate and all of this. Well, Florida's got the same amount of crime rate as does Illinois, Chicago, okay? And but but uh, according to the Satan, the Satan's doing everything right, and this governor's doing everything wrong. Yet they have the same amount of crime. Okay, so this governor was not having it, and he came out, put out the facts, and made this Satan look like an idiot, which he is. <laughs> <coughs> So anyway, I'm going to leave that here, but let me know what you think of the reading. Um, I think it pretty much told the tale about this governor. I don't think I'd get such lovely things from the Satan. You know, maybe I'll pull the cards and we'll see on the Satan. Let's do that. I think I'm going to shuffle and we're just going to pull cards on the Satan and see what it says. So what can you tell me about the Satan's governorship? What about the Satan's governorship? Okay. At the center, we have the lily, lily pond. When it comes to the young adults. Let's see what we have underneath it. It's like make sense of it, the path. Okay. I'm gonna have to look at the other cards because I know he's not looking for a peaceful path for the young adults. And unless, well, I'll look at the cards around it and we'll see, okay. So we have here, I'm going to go across this way, the center ones. 
friends, the bouquet. A piece. Okay, we've got education, knowledge. Okay. And we have the Buddha enlightenment. Well, you know, in the toxic realm, which this would be, his idea is against wokeism. Okay, it's the toxic of this, and the lotus is keep them dumb, keep them, you know, I want to keep them, I see what this is, I want to keep them pure, I don't want them educated, I don't want them to know about transgender, I don't want them to know about anything, and I don't want wokeism, because remember, Buddha said I'm awakened. <laughs> So it's about his, you know, his big idea is keeping them uneducated. I want to keep them pure. I want to keep them without knowledge. I don't want them to actually know what's going on. I want to insulate my little birdies. Okay? He wants a fantasy land. Okay, let's see what we have for the rest above it. Yeah. Yeah. The dark night, the illusion. Now, the star can either be something higher, but it's his narcissistic view, okay? His dark, his narcissistic view about the children and obstructions, okay? He's going to obstruct their education is what it says. The path to put an end, the path putting an end to wokeism is what it says here, because we have the lily on top of the Buddha. I don't want anybody awake here, especially not the kids, okay? I don't want them awake. Yeah, snake. When it comes to his dark, We've got the moon and the the um, the the dog and the snake. So it was saying, you know, I don't want them I, to to be. I'm a friend to them, but he's a friend that's that's toxic. He's toxic. Okay. We have the owl. He's toxic when it comes to the to seeing deeper being able to see to a good path. He doesn't want that, okay? He's giving his toxic interpretation of, you know, the bouquet of the wonderful things when it comes to deeper conversations. That's what the owl means to me. Now, I am lightening this image up quite a bit, so the new cards are being printed. But the deeper conversations are according to his bouquet of loveliness of narcissistic drama, is what it's saying. Um, he wants to keep, again, at the center of it, and I see what the, the, the uh, lily pond is. I want to keep them, you know, pure. I want to keep them pure. Okay, we've got the timing. When it comes to the time of education, he's blocking it. We've got the mountain. He's blocking the education. And when it comes to being woke, okay, this is his tower, his government. He is going to control, control what he says is wokeism. I don't want anybody awake and knowledgeable. I want them lily pure, little cretins without any knowledge at all. Okay. So again, it goes, uh, if we are doing the four corners, we have the moon, the lily, the tower, and the, the snake. So his dark 
idea about the path forward to the end of it is controlled by his government regime of darkness is what it's saying okay um yeah i'm under the the light of the moon now i took this picture in the jungle in the jungles at night <laughs> in mexico okay um so it's yeah being in the dark jungle uh when it comes to the path the lily for me is the long-term path to an end okay so he's out there in the darkness the long-term path to the end of control of wanting to control and imprison the tower can also be imprisonment due to his what his dark toxic mentality <clears throat> okay so we've already read that so we have here going into it we're going to read the past way this is his dark ideations about befriending and here we have another one of these critters befriending with his what toxic views may you have to get off my lap now i'm trying to read these honey come on sit here be good girl sit stay and then we have up now we have his narcissism because we have this is my card for the for the star and his ideals high ideals there his bouquet of loveliness does not include the deeper conversations but we could also see in this it could be his darkening the conversations because what does he want at the center of it he wants the children pure little things that are untouched by anything okay when it comes to their path I don't want them educated okay because here it says point blank the challenges obstructing education and the timing of it okay he's doing what he can to continue to obstruct the education process because why long-term path we got the Buddha. We don't want anybody woke. We want to imprison them in this tower of his government, what he thinks is beneficial. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't want any of this wokeism. Okay. I don't want anyone to be awake. Buddha was awakened, and. and uh, you know no i don't want that i want i want to misuse and abuse the bible to skew it in a way to keep people uh women barefoot and pregnant and kids uneducated okay <laughs> so that they'll buy in to our fallacy and drama so we're going to look at the the center now reads and and the diagonals how these things uh key up so when it comes to center i want to keep them pure little flowers it's obstructing oh yeah i'm going to pull these so you can see it it's about obstructing the deeper things um I don't want these things discussed with them. I don't want them to know the deeper things because it's about his what? Narcissistic time, abuse. He wants to control it. He wants to control his views of what he thinks education should be and not be okay so when we look at his view of the the next you know he thinks he's being a friend to them by keeping them in little lily pure 
lotus pure little beings without education okay but this is his toxic the toxics toxic sins that he's giving to his young people okay when it comes to his darkened ideations about the path for them. And then when we come over to what education, he wants to keep them pure away from being awakened. I don't want them awoke. I want to choose the path, the long-term path for them. Okay. And when it comes to the young people, again, he wants to imprison them in his view of education and life, etc. So we have a very vast difference between the Illinois governor and the Satan. The Illinois governor is all for education. They've got a really good education system. And the Satan's doing all he can to block education, um, to spin everything into his idea of we don't want wokeism. We don't want little Buddhas running around. We want little ignorant Cretans running around that will buy into all of our... Uh, misogynist ideations of that basically in the end women should be barefoot and pregnant okay and uh, you, you shouldn't have enough education that you can figure out that we're screwing you ten ways to Sunday <laughs> so that's what I get uh, with the new cards let me know what you think um, the Satan versus the governor of Illinois. Oh, my goodness.